Okay, this is podcast number one and is entitled Introduction to Fluid Mechanics. It is to support the teaching and learning of courses that we're delivering in the Edinburgh and Dubai campuses. So if we start with slide number one. So fluid mechanics has applications in a variety of mechanical engineering science subjects. I'm going to take you through a few applications here and the first of which would be the flow in complicated pipe structures. In particular, fluid mechanics um, is concerned with frictional losses or pressure drop in pipe network systems that are complicated like these, or for the delivery of fluid over large expanses of land. Other applications of fluid mechanics include the design of Formula One cars or the aerodynamics that's involved in a variety of applications. Essentially what we're looking at here is the lift and drag effects of different wing tips whether they're applied to a Formula car or just a simple aerofoil as displayed here. Fluids also flow in complicated gear mechanisms like these. These tend to be thicker fluids, um, greases and oils. And this type of flow um, is generally under the heading of tribology. One of my particular research interests is blood flows. So this again is another pipe network system, complicated one because we have the heart which acts as a pump, going out, pumping fluid through ar arteries, bringing it to smaller and smaller vessels down to capillary level and then back up through arch to ve veins to the heart. Um, one particular point of research here would be in looking at peripheral vascular disease, which is looking at the blood flow at, in the capillary bed. As you can see, blood is a particularly difficult fluid to model as it, it's not what we call a Newtonian fluid. It has particulates in it and flows quite different to fluids that we're normally used to, such as air and water. Fluids also has applications in large-scale weather forecasting systems, and this um, is used for the design of wind farms where we're trying to harness energy uh, and renewable energies, and even larger um, weather forecasting. Again, even larger scales again, we can look at fluid mechanics and how it is applied to climate modelling and ocean currents in small and larger, even the largest scale possible. Two further applications would be safety. So fluid mechanics defines, or the equations that we're going to look at in fluid mechanics will define how fires burn, how explosions happen, and how we can develop thrust. So essentially fluid mechanics lends itself to rocket science. So to understand fluid mechanics, we have to first of all understand what a fluid is. And technically, a fluid is defined as a material substance which cannot sustain a shearing stress when it is at rest. Now this is a complicated way of understanding what a fluid is. But essentially what that is saying is that a fluid flows until it takes the shape of the vessel in which it is housed. Fluids can be regarded as three different classes, liquids, gases, or vapors. So included in this course will be the definition of some fluid properties, that'll be podcast number two, and from podcast two to ten we'll go through the equations of state and the ideal gas law, fluid, flow, fluid shear fl stress and viscosity, hydrostatic pressure, hydrostatic force, and we'll look at it both magnitude and point of action in two separate podcasts. Then we'll move on to manometry, which is pressure measurement, buoyancy, and finally stability. That will complete the course for Mechanical Engineering Science 1.